Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study the whole and half hours. Okay, let's look at some clock exercises now about whole and half hours. Here I have clocks that only have the hour hand again. So what time is it here? The hour hand is pointing to 10, so it is 10 o'clock. Let's write it here, 10 o'clock. Over here, what time is it? 5 o'clock, yeah. This is pretty easy. How about over there? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Now here, this is the hour hand, and it is pointing between 11 and 12, halfway between 11 and 12. So what time is it? It is now half past 11. Right. So half past 11. It is exactly half an hour after 11, or it is 11 and a half hours. And over here, what time is it? Okay, halfway between 5 and 6. That's 5 hours and half an hour. Half past 5. And over here, half past what? Half past 8. Now over here, we need to draw the hour hand. This time I'm going to let Matthew actually draw it with this nice purple. 6 o'clock. Where is the hour hand going to point? Well, obviously, yeah, that's easy. Just to 6. Half past 7. Can you do that right, Matthew? Think so? Did he get it right? Yeah, it's halfway between 7 and 8. Half past 7. Half past 12. Sure, that's correct too. Good job, Matthew. Now over here, we have a time to tell. What time is it? The hour hand points to 2, so it is 2 o'clock. Yes. Now we're going to draw to this clock face the time exactly half an hour later than this clock. So here it is 2 o'clock. What time will it be here? This time I'm going to draw. It's going to be between 2 and 3, halfway between 2 and 3. Okay, something like that. Half past 2. Now to this clock we will draw the time half an hour after that time. Okay, another half an hour passes. What time will it be? Okay, after half past 2, another half an hour makes it exactly 3 o'clock. Right? Something like that. Then again, here it is 12 o'clock. Half an hour later it would be half past 12, right? And then another half an hour later. Half an hour after this. 1 o'clock, right? Good job. Over here, what time is it? It's half past five, and then half an hour later. The hour hand is here and moves half an hour, okay? Half a step, so to speak. So it will be pointing to six, right? And so it will be six o'clock. And then half an hour later yet. Six o'clock, half an hour later. If it was a whole hour later, 6 o'clock and whole hour later would be 7 o'clock, right? But 6 o'clock and half an hour later is half past 6. Right. Over there. Now, since we always drew, you know, a time, half an hour later, another half an hour later. Then, if you look at the top and the bottom clock, what's the difference in time? How much time passes from here to here? From 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock passes exactly one hour, right? It is two hours here, three hours here. One hour more, one hour later. How about from here, from this top clock to the bottom clock? How much time passes between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock? Again, it's exactly one hour, right? And then how much time passes between this clock and this clock? Here it was, half past five, 
Here it was half past six. Well, again, it is exactly one hour later. Yes, because there's a an half an hour, another half an hour, that makes a whole hour. One hour later. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.